Oh, hey, my name is Ken Martinez. This video will inform you guys how Sherman Hospital in Elgin, Illinois uses this lake to provide geothermal energy to the hospital. Enjoy. Sherman Hospital first switched on their geothermal system in May of 2009. Since then, they have saved an estimated $1 million in energy costs per year. Sherman has the biggest geothermal system in Illinois and one of only two currently heating and cooling medical centers in the United States. The pressure gauges, which are connected to over 185 miles of pipes, are housed in the manifold. Sherman's Geothermal Lake is one of the largest lake loop heat pump systems in the world. Geothermal systems cost 13% more to install than traditional energy sources, but the money saved pays for itself in just a few short years. Sherman has also received several awards for integrating the geothermal system, a couple including a $400,000 grant from the Illinois Clean Energy Community Foundation, also a grant from the U.S. Department of Energy for $956,000 for promoting America's energy security through reliable, clean, and affordable energy. This is Mary Ann Zito. I'm a volunteer um, at Sherman hospital in Elgin, Illinois. In reality, this is a very simple process that involves hundreds of miles of piping, a simple solution, and um, our ability to use our manifold room to pump this um, heated solution around our, around our hospital. Oh, hey, let's go see how much people really know about geothermal energy. Geo, what? Th thermal energy? Okay. I don't have a clue. All right. Do you know what geothermal energy is? Yes, it's underneath the ground, deep below the ground. It's where people drill really, really deep into the ground, and they tap the natural heat from the Earth's core, and they use that to heat their house or buildings or whatever types of structures they have. Awesome. A few pros to geothermal energy would be the fact that it's completely emission free, there is no fuel required to run the generator, and also the virtually limitless supply of heat that we can get from the earth to power the generator. A few cons of geothermal energy are the high construction costs, which in the long run pay for themselves. The amount of care needed to manage the heat and ensure that it's, the generator is not overused. Also, the amount of water that the, the generator uses itself is very sufficient. What is your outlook on geothermal energy? I mean, it sounds pretty good. Like, I like it. I think geothermal energy is really great for the environment and it sounds like an awesome thing for um, for the earth. I think we should use it as a resource since it's renewable. What's your outlook on that? I don't know. Well, I don't think there's any pollution associated with it, so it's something that we should probably consider more than coal or oil. Very uh, environmentally friendly. Uh, doesn't use a lot of natural resources as you would use with natural gas or coal or other types or wood or other types of fuel that we would use normally to heat our homes. What's your outlook on that? <laughs> it's just it's your world. I'm just passing through. <laughs> I, don't, I, have, I don't have an outlook on that. Well, there you go, my friends. That's geothermal energy for you. Hey!